Hello dear wonderful friends. Welcome back here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. So I am going to make a huge pot of soup tonight. So I let the steam out in my pressure cooker. So I try to boil uh, lentils. Okay, so I use 680 grams, one package of lentils. So, wonderful friends, the entire package of 800 grams of lentils. So, these are the lentils that I am uh, using. But this is a spare or extra ones, but uh, my leftover actually. So, what I did, the entire package, I ran it with water, cold water twice, I rinse it, and then boil it into my pressure cooker. So friends, it took me 20 to 25 minutes in my pressure cooker. So pressure cooker, it's divided into different categories like poultry, chicken, rice, beans, uh, baking, uh, what else, yogurt, cake, sauteing. And, and I press just the beans and it takes 25 minutes. So once 25 minutes, so this is 8 minutes. So it needed 8 more minutes before the lentils will be done but actually uh, I didn't really wait for another eight minutes I just try to take out the you know the pressure top there and then once all the pressure is released then we're going to check our lentil lentils so friends this kind of pot this is a huge pot and it will serve at least at 30 to 40 people for this huge pot so let me tell you what are the very basic ingredients that we have for our soup making very very easy and delicious one and i hope you will also give it a try so i use one head of fresh cloves of uh, garlic so i did not really chop the garlic i just press it using my knife so i use uh, one large white cooking onions and these are ginger so so that there's a good taste okay so huge uh celery i chop it so depending uh, on the slices of you want to achieve okay uh these are uh two kilos or four pounds that i bought from fresco company it's a grocery store here in my area so this is kobacha squash so i tried to peel it wash it and took out its uh, seeds or peat so if you don't have this calabasa or squash you can always use potatoes and also some carbs like um squash i mean sorry potatoes or carrots i i didn't really bother adding carrots even if i have lots of supply oh by the way this is hot water i prepare it to add more uh, water or liquid into our soup making okay so i use one huge bun bunch of green onions or scallions so i just you know chop it in that manner <laughs> okay one huge bunch of uh cilantro so i just try to chop it so the uh, for, well for our savoring enhancer come join with me now if you're not vegetarian you can add a chicken like chicken powder broth like that so whatever savoring enhancer you want simply you can always go ahead now i'll be adding uh extra virgin olive oil in into my uh cooking pot here so i wash it and um, that's clean already and this is extra virgin olive oil so I have to add generously and I don't really feel guilty about it because it's more unhealthy but if you don't have olive oil no need to worry you can just use vegetable oil coconut oil canola sunflower name it whatever oils you have in your pantry i'll be adding seasoning salt salt and pepper they're the best uh, bet uh, for savory enhancer so this is black pepper and also garlic spread which is our garlic powder and i have here lemongrass if you don't have lemongrass powder you can use the tanglad fresh tie, just tie the knot of that lemongrass Friends, any savoring enhancer of your choice, you can always go ahead and do that. 
well whatever makes you happy uh, so this is my black pepper so I'm going to turn on my flame so I will just uh, preheat that one before I'm going to add my olive oil steam is still uh, coming out <laughs> Okay, remember friends that cooking and baking, they're always made fun here at Laani's Kitchen and Food Creations. Simply love to share my simple uh, recipes. So there you go, that's your olive oil. So I added approximately uh, three quarters or three fourth cup of extra virgin olive oil. Because this is a huge pot. Okay, there you go, friends. Friends, this is super easy to make. Okay, so I hope you will also give it a try. Now, whatever veggies you have, broccoli, uh, cauliflower, zucchini, just, you know, dump your healthy or wonderful, colorful veggies of your choice. <laughs> Red peppers, green peppers, yellow or sweet, whatever peppers you have always go ahead so now i will just dump this onions garlic and uh, uh ginger all together wonderfully because i'm in really in a rush right now i'm going to uh, give this soup to a friend who is not really feeling very good today and i hope that by having this soup it will help her immune system <laughs> Okay, this is for Mia, um, a good friend of mine. So there you go. It's a little bit deep here, and so hard for me to steer, but I think I'll be fine. So sauteing doesn't really take that long. So maybe, let's say, a minute. So we're going to sweat out our spices, saute, or until slightly golden brown or translucent until the spices are fragrant okay i think uh, this one it's out so to the right when you open it so let's check our lentils well if you don't have lentils you can use green mung beans or uh, barley gray barley pear, pearls so look at the beautiful <clears throat> soft and tender lentils this is so delicious i love this kind of soup okay there you go wonderful friends so this is quite done okay what i'm going to do next is that so these two kilos not pounds because this is over four pounds i think five pounds of course I'll have to take out the peelings and also the inside part. So that's why the remaining or the net net weight of this uh, calabaza or squash, it's two, two kilos. Actually, I, I weigh it into my digital weighing scale. Okay, so you can mix it well. Okay, so I'll have to add my... Um, let me call this one what's this one <laughs> tanglad or lemongrass lemongrass uh, lemongrass powder that can be very very optional wonderful friends so I will be adding black pepper Okay, there you go. Adding black pepper and salt, savory enhancer, it depends upon your taste buds. So this is uh, the seasoning. It's more on dry spices, combination of this and that. And I love this one. So there's uh, salt. If you don't have the other spices, which I am doing, you don't really need to worry, wonderful friends. Okay. So I am going to add lots and lots of uh, hot water. I prepared hot water to hasten our cooking. 
So that's uh, two liters. But I will add more because I want the soup to be up at least somewhere here. Okay, wonderful friends. So this is really act actually this is plain vegetarian soup. So I will just try to cook halfway or half cook for this calabasa or the squash. You can use spaghetti squash or kobacha, butternut squash. There are different classification of squash squashes. <laughs> and these are very delicious. It gives very, very good taste and, you know, healthy uh, to our body. So see that one? So I will just let it be done for another five minutes before I am going to add my um, celery. Well, on the other hand, I still added or let this electric kettle boil some water because I'm going to add more liquid, hot liquid into our soup. Okay, there finally. I'll have to add more. So I am just eyeballing all the wonderful ingredients that we have. So first is I added two liters of water. And now that's another liter, two liters of water. So in this total, friends, it's uh, four liters of liquid that we added. So I'm going to cover that one until the, the squash is softened or tender friends remember as what i've mentioned you can always substitute some of the other veggies we have if you don't have calabasa or squash and then if you have this uh, uh sweet kamoti or yam yellow uh, sweet yam or potatoes or any carbs or even chickpeas or corn you know uh, you can always try to add that into your soup. Okay, let's check, friends. You know, if you do, if you have the access to fresh lemongrass, that's very, very. The taste will be very, very good. I should say. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add my. Ah, uh, celery, chopped celery. So we will give a good stir. And let that be done for at least another five minutes until both a, both the uh, celery and the calabasa or the squash will become tender. Wonderful friends, you might be asking me, where did I buy this um, lemongrass powder? Well, I bought this from Great Asian Store nearby in my place. Uh, that can be very, very optional. If you don't have this kind of powder, you can always use the fresh. I like to recommend you using the fresh lemongrass. The taste is so very aromatic and also um, fragrance-wise, it's really good. And of course, when you use the lemongrass, uh, the real one, the fresh one, the oil essentials will just come out naturally and it will savor the entire dish. Okay, wonderful friends, I tried to um, cut that calabasa or squash. It's tender now, so it is now time for me to add the entire lentils that I cooked or boiled in the, into our pot here. Okay, so the entire pot of the boiled lentils has been added and now there you go there's a lot <laughs> okay now it is time for me but i'll have to taste test first if this is passable <laughs> wonderful friends i added a little bit more of salt this is fine iodized salt and a little bit more of my lemongrass so look the taste is so delicious 
a taste to die for <laughs> okay wonderful friends look at that okay so taste test passable perfecto so it is time for me to add all these greens and then i'll have to turn off the heat right away I'll turn off my flame, voila. So adding all this uh, sibuyas dahon or scallions. Okay, wonderful friends, for our final touches, finishing touches, stir the soup. This is really delicious. Okay, then serve it hot with love and kindness. And I hope you always have fun here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. By the way, I hope... A uh, special shout out, this special soup making is intended for my beautiful cousin, uh, Daphne, Anan. Okay, Anne, pagluto niya, Anihan, ha, as what I've mentioned, you can always substitute or uh, some of the veggies and enjoy. To all of you, my wonderful friends, this is your cocinera uh, from La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Dagan ang salamat, ha? So, I'll have to bring this, uh, even if it's it, night time well it's only i think seven o'clock i guess seven thirty. so i'm going to bring this to my friend of course i'm gonna set aside some bowl of soup for myself okay dagan ka ang salamat so till the next time ha magkita kita na punta bye love you guys and god bless ingat po kayong lahat